Mayor reinforced that message today saying, don't come to Portland to anyone planning violence and retaliation this weekend. Saturday will mark 100 days of protests that started back on May 29th with calls against racial injustice and police brutality. Our Jenny Young joins us live. So Jenny, the mayor spoke out against the violence today, but did he talk about a plan to keep the city safe this weekend? Well, Dan, we're going to get to that, but what we do know right now is that BLM has a big weekend planned ahead. They're going to be all across the city. They plan to be at North Precinct, East, Pre East Precinct, as well as Southeast over at Linz Park, and they're even going to have a car caravan. Of course we're concerned about it. When asked about the potential for violence in Portland this weekend, Mayor Wheeler says he hopes people will use reason. I would encourage them to work with us to help us de-escalate this situation and stay away. Protests and violent demonstrations in Portland have stretched on for nearly 100 days. Violence escalated into tragedy last weekend when 39-year-old Aaron Danielson was shot to death downtown. Mayor Wheeler says he has condemned violence from day one. But I want people to be very clear about where I stand. I absolutely, unequivocally, 100% condemn the violence. And I will do everything I can in my power to both de-escalate the situation. As far as a plan to keep city streets safe this weekend, the mayor, who also serves as the police commissioner, says he believes law enforcement will keep things under control. So we are working with both our local law enforcement partners and state law enforcement partners. We will keep separation uh, as much as we're able to keep separation. And if people are engaged in criminal activity, we'll do our level best to hold them accountable, either on the spot, if it's safe to do so, or later on through our investigative resources. Wheeler was asked if a suspect's been named in the Aaron Danielson murder. So we cannot yet say that, and what we do not need is groups confronting each other on the streets violently. We don't want that, and but we will, we will be prepared. Second. We will yeah. be prepared for it. He said there's still a lot of unknowns in the investigation. Police still have more witnesses to speak with, and they haven't finished watching all the surveillance video. Okay, so we will we've learned that there will be a remembrance and a day of celebration of life for Aaron Danielson on Saturday at 4 p.m. in Vancouver at Esther Short Park. Okay, and we are going to have team coverage on the 100th day on Saturday. Jennifer Dowling and I will both be out following these groups around, keeping an eye on these protests throughout uh, the evening. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Coin6 News. Yeah, and all we can hope for is that things stay safe.